it gripped you tight and raised you from perdition. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, Merry Christmas, and here is my review for Supernatural Season 4, Episode 1, Lazarus Rising. I have been looking forward to reviewing this season. This is a season that I've gone back and forth on in terms of being a really good season to being kind of a subpar season. And at least to say the opening of this season is still banging. Someone made a comment back with my Season 2 opener review that the best two openers of the show were Season 2 and Season 4, and I can completely agree, because this is a damn good opener. The episode has consistent intrigue, tension, fear, chaos, and excitement throughout its entire runtime. For 44 minutes, we were given so much story, mystery, wonder, development, and overall interest in what is actually at play in the supernatural universe. It starts with Dean literally rising from the grave, finding the entire area around him devastated. He finds a little gas station and starts to hear a noise that gets so overwhelming it smashes the windows. He eventually finds Bobby, who after having a fight of trying to prove that he is in fact a human, proves that he's a human. Dean starts to slowly catch up on what's happening and then they go and see his brother. Sam at this point is also massive. Like, I'm not saying big, I'm seeing like he jerks. Cause when he goes after Dean and raises his arm up with a knife, I would have been terrified if I was in Dean's position as well, even if it was my brother. But then they have that heartfelt hug, which is one of the best hugs in the whole show. Just a sappy little note, it is one of the best hugs that they ever did in the show. They get to reconnect, but they also are still in the dark on what brought Dean back, aside from the handprint that's on his shoulder. They go to see Pamela, who honestly, I kind of forgot about Pamela, but she gets her eyes melted out. And it's a pretty scary bit because you like this character and instantly she's got her eyes burnt out. They go to this little diner that is full of demons. And this is one of the most badass moments in Dean's history, in my opinion, because the waiter who is a demon sits down and she starts to try and talk all tough to Dean. But Dean knows that they don't know anything either. And he full on smacks her and he knows he gets away with it. He walks out and he even says, oh, geez, that was close. That was how you felt throughout the entire moment. It was such a great tension-filled, anxiety-boiling moment, and it was so well executed. And then we have two major revelations. The first being that Ruby is in fact alive and she's helping Sam learn these new psychic abilities which lets him take demons down in back to hell all the while castiel is revealed to be an angel of god this was really really cool for me both back then and now for completely different reasons my original reason being hey whoa they did all this work to say that angels and god didn't exist and now we have an angel confirmed what I'm just as irritated as Dean is because where y'all been? But it's still really cool that we have this whole lore thing and now there's me now going, wow, that's what it was like when Castiel actually mattered. Whoa, it's been, it's been so long. <laughs> This episode had fantastic intrigue. It laid great groundwork for the season that was to come. It got you invested in the events around while also really doing a good job of keeping you in the dark, but in the dark that you like in terms of the angel saying, this is it, we're all done, this is the end. Little do you know exactly the grandioseness of what she's talking about. We don't know who Castiel really is for. While he says he is an angel, why is he the way he is? His mannerisms are not what we got used to. He's still this avenging angel, this supposed soldier of good, or at least that's what he's led to believe. And the mystery with Sam and his powers. I miss when this show had development. I miss it so much. Either way though, this is a fantastic season opener. It's one of the best episodes in Supernatural history, bar none. And that is why I'm going to give Lazarus Rising a seven out of seven.
Boom, baby, we are starting off strong. I am absolutely stoked. I can't wait to do the next episode and I can't wait for you guys to come along with me. And I can't wait to talk about episode two, Are You There God, It's Me and Dean Winchester. So just as we've done before, leave a comment about what you thought about that episode in the comments below and I'll read them off in the next review. But also, I do have something that I do wanna talk about with you guys. Ever since I passed over 3000 subscribers, the thought of getting a Patreon account has become more and more prevalent to me but admittedly, I don't really know how to set it up. So far, the only ideas I've really had are maybe asking for like a dollar or two a month and then maybe doing a little bit more to have like title shout outs at the end of videos and whatnot. I'm kind of in the dark on how to do this. I've watched a few other people and admittedly there are some cool ideas. I don't know if I could commit to them entirely, mainly because of the industry that I work in. But if you guys have any ideas, or if you guys are for it, I, I don't wanna push something on you guys. If you would like to support me in that kind of way, that would be most definitely appreciated, especially with times going on, but I obviously want you guys to take care of yourself. Would you guys be interested in it? And what would you like from it? What would you expect from something like that? Anyways, guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next episode review. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.